Hello everyone. I would like to welcome the honorable listener and judge listening this presentation session based on my thesis topic. The subject matter of my thesis work was removal of arsenic from groundwater and industrial dye from wastewater using zero valent iron nanoparticle and its preparation and characterization. I am Nadia Sultana is going to present this thesis work where my co-worker was Tania Tabassum Ini and we worked under supervision of Dr. Ijaj Hosen, Professor Chemical Engineering Department, Buet Dhaka. First of all, let's have a look on the outline of this presentation. The topics that are going to be discussed here are Definition of nanoparticle, available preparation procedure of nanoparticle, preparation of iron nanoparticle, characterization method of INP, application of INP, cause of selecting INP for different application, removal of arsenic by INP, drawback of other arsenic removal methods, removal of dye by INP and our suggestion about the future expansion of this work. After mentioning the word nanoparticle or NP for so many times, a question may come in mind that what are nanoparticles or which particles are of this class. Before going to the answer, let's see an usual image of nanoparticle. Here we are seeing some cluster of particles whose image has been taken by magnifying it at a scale of 400 nanometer. Now come to the definition. <coughs> nanoparticles are those of size range up to 100 nanometer for large scale application and up to 1000 nanometer for industrial scale application where a nanometer is uh, <coughs> is 1 millionth of a meter and human hair is of about 25000 nanometer thickness after knowing the definition let's see some procedure of preparing nanoparticle the available manufacturing methods of nanoparticle are <coughs> Attrition method, pyrolysis, thermal plasma method, inert gas condensation technique, sol gel technique, chemical process, and sonication or ultrasonication. All these methods require very sophisticated control as it is the engineering of very much tiny material. Among these methods, we have selected chemical process as it is least expensive and can be easily handled. Iron nanoparticle or IRP has been produced by chemical reaction of sodium borohydride and ferric chloride where in reaction ferric ion is reduced to zero valent iron by reacting with borohydride. This, reaction, uh, this is the setup of iron nanoparticle where reaction has been taken place in plastic reaction vessel which was surrounded by ice cube to keep the reaction temperature low enough. This reaction was performed in both batch and semi-batch procedure where all the ferric iron was contacted with borohydride at once in batch method and subsequently contacted in semi-batch method. In both procedures, sodium borohydride and ferric chloride solution was vigorously mixed in the reactor for 30 minutes by agitation. In semi batch procedure, ferric chloride was added in the reactor dropwise. After that, reaction mixture was settled uh, for about an hour. Uh, water <coughs> and water above the particle was siphoned. Then the particle was washed with sufficient amount of deionized water and filtered by vacuum filtration. The agitated nanoparticle collected on filter paper are then dried in vacuum dryer and at low temperature and preserved in desiccator after drying. After preparation of INP, now come to the characterization method of these prepared particles. Iron nanoparticle was characterized by three methods. Those were XRD analysis, ACM study, and UV spectroscopy analysis. In XRD analysis, size and composition of the particle was determined. In ACM study, size and shape of the particle was determined. And in UV spectroscopy analysis, uh, surface area of the particle was measured. XRD analysis was performed for INP produced by both batch and semi batch procedure. In both of the procedure, Measured peak was found at 44.7 degree twice theta which indicate the presence of elemental iron in the particle sample. The peaks beside 44.7 degree indicate the presence of oxidized iron which was mainly magnemite. By using Schorer equation from, value, from the value of full width of half maxima, the size of INP produced by batch procedure was found 11 nanometer where this size was 6.97 nanometer for semi-batch procedure. ACM study was carried out for both batch and semi-batch INP. The image show the 
presence of spherical and arbitrary shaped particle in INP sample. In INP of batch procedure <coughs> preparation method, the particle was found at 10 to 20 nanometer size range by magnifying at 100 nanometer scale where this size was 3 to 10 nanometer for same batch INP by magnifying at 20 nanometer scale. In UV spectroscopy analysis, the surface area of the particle was measured by observing adsorption of methylene blue on particle uh, surface. Methylene blue has a projected surface area of 130 angstrom square on its larger surface. From the adsorption isotherm of Mb on ion nanoparticle adsorbent <coughs> surface, the monolayer adsorption capacity was found. 10.61 in 10 power minus 4 gram per gram for INP adsorbent produced by batch procedure where this value raised to 15.92 in 10 power minus 4 gram per gram for INP of soy batch procedure. Thus, by performing necessary calculation, the surface area of INP of batch production method was found 2.3341 meter square per gram where this value raised to 455.32 meter square per gram for semi batch INP. After finishing the characterization of INP, let's come to the point of applying INP. In our thesis work, we observed the application of INP for removal of arsenic and dye from water. The arsenic removal test was carried out for removing arsenic 3 plus arsenic, which is arsenic 5 plus, and from prepared uh, for from prepared solution and natural arsenite from groundwater. In dye removal test, both cationic and anionic dyes were removed from prepared solution and fabric dye was removed from industrial wastewater. Now a question may rise in mind that why we are being interested to use nanoparticle in case uh, mentioned in previous slide. The main reason of choosing INPR is large surface area high surface reactivity, high affinity of iron to be bonded with, uh, with arsenic, capability of removing arsenic at high pH and invariant arsenic removal in presence of other competing iron. Now let's have a look on the arsenic removal procedure by INP. At first, arsenic solution is prepared and INP is added in prepared solution. The solution is then shaken in rotary shaker and sonicator. After shaking, after settling of added particle, clean water was separated from the above and diluted by adding deionized water. Sodium nitride is added in this solution in this diluted solution as a matrix modifier then the sample is taken in sample holder of atomic adsorption spectrophotometer and arsenic concentration reading was observed in PPB scale. In case of arsenic 3 plus removal from prepared solution potassium permanganate was added to oxidized arsenite to arsenate to ensure its removal. After knowing the good sides of iron nanoparticle for arsenic removal and uh, after knowing the arsenic removal procedure, let's see how efficiently our nanoparticle can remove arsenic from water. First come to arsenate removal from prepared solution. By dissolving sodium arsenate in water, arsenic 5 plus solution were prepared from three concentration range for three concentration range 12, 18 and 21 ppm, where removal efficiency were found to be 85.4%, 88.2% and 83.2% respectively without sonication. In case of 12 ppm solution, the solution was sonicated for 15 minutes which increased the arsenic removal efficiency from 85.4% to 90.3%. In case of arsenite removal, which is AS3 plus solution was prepared by using arsenic trioxide where arsenic removal was observed for with and without oxidation condition. Without ox oxidation, arsenic 3 plus removal efficiency was about 93% which was raised to about 98% after oxidation of arsenate to arsenate. For arsenic removal from groundwater, the arsenic removal efficiency was found to be 61.5% without sonication where it raised to 86.9% with sonication of water by adding INP. After observing successful arsenic removal from water using INP, now let's have a look on drawback of other arsenic removal methods. The using 
uh, usual polymeric anion exchanger has shorter operation life and lower selectivity of arsenic. The iron oxyhydroxide based porous media has lower structural strength in spite of having high affinity towards arsenate. Foculation method requires safe landfill and high capital investment. Again, sorptive filtration with iron coated sand gives good arsenic removal but vast production of this sand requires difficult technology. Now let's move to the dye removal by application of INP. In this procedure at first dye solution was prepared and INP was added to the solution. Then the solution was shaken in rotary shaker. After shaking solution was settled for a while and clear treated solution was separated from the top and taken in quartz cubit using which UV spec absorbance reading were taken in UV spectrophotometer. In case of treating cationic dye, dye concentration reduction was observed at pH 7. The absorbance curve found from UV analysis for initial and equilibrium solution show reduction of dye concentration because at this pH range INP possesses a negative surface charge which can easily be attached with positively charged methylene blue. The dye concentration reduction can be represented by this bar chart where an average of 25% methylene blue concentration reduction is found. In case of treating anionic dye uh, which is uh, orange G at first, dye was treated at pH 7, which gave an overlapping absorbance curve um, at initial and equilibrium dye concentration, which can also be shown by this bar chart. Here, due to negative charge of orange G, no dye concentration reduction occurred. At reduced pH below 4.4, INP surface charge become positive due to which INP become capable of removing negatively charged orange G dye which gave following absorbance curve. In UV spectrophotometer, here about 50% 50 50 dye concentration reduction occurred at pH 3.13. In case of textile dye removal from industrial wastewater, the UV spectroscopy analysis gave following absorbance curve which indicate the dye uh, removal efficiency of INP in case of different fabric dye sample. After observing the achieved success in arsenic removal and dye removal using INP, we have thought about some extension of our present work which may be Application of INP for arsenic removal at different pH range and salt concentration of alkaline earth metals like calcium and magnesium. Arsenic removal attempts can be taken by continuous procedure using packed bed of INP by trickling filter mechanism. Removal of dye by INP at both acidic and basic pH range by changing contact time, adsorbent doses and surfactant coating. Work on real life arsenic removal by INP by considering disposal problem in more environmental friendly way. This was all about my thesis work presentation. Thank you all for have patience to hear my presentation.